Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising. Weekly tarot reading April 15th to April 21st, uh, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I uh, want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Virgo Star Sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with... Uh, every single different Virgo. So if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you predictions for it, for its future, uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And uh, for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, going for the Virgo general reading, the first card that you do have Virgo, which marks the topic of your week, that is going to be the Tree of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, what you should not do regarding the Tree of Wands. This is going to be the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Then it is the third card which is the positive approach toward the situation or what you should do in regards to the tree of uh, wands that is going to be the temperance and the last one which is the uh, final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot here that will be the tree of pentacles so once again tree of wands then it is the wheel of fortune followed by the temperance card and the last one that is to be the tree of pentacles all right, so um, the first card, which is the Tree of Pentacles here, the topic is that you are going to uh, settle on solid and uh, existing patterns here where you are to solidify your current achievements that you do have. So it's kind of like sealing the deal throughout this week, either with the person that you are dating or either with the project that you're working upon. The thing with the Tree of Wands, however, is that the uh, the grand achievement, it's far from, from being done. I mean, the work is far from over. And from now on, you have to aim for bigger challenges for yourself. So it's kind of like Virgos that you need to start thinking big. You need to start thinking like uh, for things or heights, should I say that way, in the current um, in the current flow that you are following, which are bigger than what you have hoped for until this very moment. Tree of Wands, it's like many people say that this is like the, your ships coming in, but you know, one should not be late for their ship when the ship comes in. So yeah, you have to figure out a new shores to conquer throughout this week. So just to give you an example of that guys let's say that uh you recently start talking with someone you know and you do have an attraction to that person well then the tree of wands manifest itself as this uh com this communication is pretty much sealed what i mean is that you ain't gonna lose it whatsoever however from here you will have to uh, opt to schedule a, a date, a meeting or something like this to improve that, uh, that enterprise, that undertaking or endeavor, or you, you name it, okay? So it's kind of like furthering your, um, your current state or bringing your project or your relationship into the next level. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Hermit, the formation is a active neutrals. So with the Hermit card, um, well, basically you should not delay the thing any longer. And I mean, you have been in a, I, I hate to interpret cards with their keywords, but here it is just how it comes as the Hermit comes as a seclusion or isolation, you know, in many, in many cases. So you have been in an isolation for far too long. And as a neutral to the tree of, uh, to the tree of wands, you can have only only either of them okay so is isolation is not um, advisable here and instead you need to step out in the world and start making progress or start showing progress you're already making progress it is just the world doesn't know that so you will have to step out and show that to the world so uh the way i see it here virgo is that this week uh, it's gonna be a very productive week in in whatever you're doing guys i mean 
things are going to develop according to what you are expecting, either relationship-wise or either career-wise as well. So I could suggest you to uh, roll up your sleeves and um, start making those big steps, those uh, really bold moves. It's not kind of like a bold moves uh, in a term of risky moves, but more like a... Um, efficient moves forward i mean you don't have anything to uh, work upon any longer in this current state of your uh, of your situation either with your partner or with the person of interest or with the project from now on you need to challenge yourself in any way challenge yourself to go out on a date all right challenge yourself to start talking with someone for example or challenge yourself for this big project that nobody wants to take care of and so on and so forth the uh, second card here which is the negative approach toward the situation that is the wheel of fortune so a couple of ways that this card could manifest the first one is that this card is saying that you ain't gonna have a better opportunity than this one than than this challenge which is uh, coming in your way so if you hope that as you don't invest or kind of like don't involve yourself into this challenge that another um another opportunity in regards to the same enterprise is going to come around with the wheel of fortune on a negative position it is highly unlikely and second of all, with the Wheel of Fortune on a negative position is that you should not leave anything to develop itself on a basis of luck and chance. So that being said, no matter how much uh, activity there is around you throughout the week, you need to mon uh, monitoring every single even small piece of activity that is there and influence it in any way you can so nothing is going to happen to you by a chance if you leave the situation to unfold on its own accord it is likely the situation is going to deteriorate that's why everything that you find substantial that is throughout the week is going to require your immediate attention the accompanied card here that is going to be the justice card so the formation is a active um active friends and uh, it's very peculiar because as the justice card, it basically allows you to surpass your limits here. I mean, as the justice in on, is in a negative position, it means that someone can take more than actually someone does deserve based on their performance on, or their incorporation. So uh, this is your opening here, guys. Let's say... Well, I hate to give such an, an example here, but let's say that you really fall for that person which has a current boyfriend or a current, current girlfriend, it doesn't matter. So this week you will have the opening to completely, um, not neglect, but what was the English word here? Um, well, yeah, neglect the, the, the influence of, uh, of that person or rather like win your interest for yourself even that your interest has a either a girlfriend or a boyfriend same thing goes career-wise you know someone may run a project that you really want well this week you will have the opportunity to steal that project from this person it's kind of like you know a, a, a replacement that you're gonna make so you're going to replace one for your favor if you um, once again if you challenge yourself to do so and uh, many people may think that you know that is kind of like a uh, very a, a, a thing which lacks dignity should i say that way but at the end of the day if you don't do something for yourself no one else is going to and i mean if you do have the opening here um why not i mean why why should why should straight away from what makes you happy so uh you have one in uh, you Virgo have one in one of its kind opportunity to it's not even really stealing guys it's more like uh, taking you know uh, there is that thing uh, this is a, a small story here uh, which is about the horsemen of the apocalypse <laughs> that is so uh, 
the thing is that there were five of them, okay, no, four, and the fifth one uh, kind of like was killed by the fourth one. That is because the fifth one wanted to take the world of man for himself. And the four horsemen said, you know, that this world belongs to the human. And the, fi the fifth one said, it belongs to the one who takes it. So here throughout this week, should you challenge yourself, nothing belongs to the one, to someone by right, it belongs to the one who takes it. So if you can take that person, you will take it. Uh, if you challenge yourself, that is. Uh, if you can take that project, you will take it simply because you are better than the one that uh, was that, uh, that, that had it until this very moment. If you can take that promotion or if you can take the place of someone that sits higher than you in the ladder of the hierarchy into your career, uh, should you challenge yourself to do so, you will take it just because you are better. That's what I'm trying to say here is that um, the usual rule of the hierarchy will no longer be in place and only the one who are capable are going to prevail over the ones who were born with a silver spoon in their mouth, all right? So uh, that being said, going to the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, that is going to be the temperance. So temperance, um, it kind of relates to a few things here. The first one, it is that Everybody has their chance. I mean, the temperance is the card where it is the least ju judgmental card, okay? So if you do have the chance, you take it. That is first thing that the temperance preach because everybody has their own path to follow. Additionally to that, with the temperance, you have to be quite ready to take on the chores that accompanies your challenge because the challenge is not going to come around only with the pleasant uh, endeavors to be taken under but also there will be their fair amounts of chores as well that one needs to overcome through that challenge itself additionally to that the temperance urges you not to uh, lose your path in a sense of uh, extreme state like extreme aggression or uh, extreme sedation that is so you have to be consistent with whatever you're doing and if we connect the, the uh, temperance with the uh, tree of wands you will find uh, the right measures throughout the week as you how can i place it as you follow your uh, your expectations so things which are happening according to your expectations well this is where you should focus your uh, your energy to resolve the chores in there and as well the arguments and the challenges that is whatever doesn't go wrong uh, go along with your expectations then you should leave that thing for the next week or the week after now is the time to um to attend only to those uh, enterprises which actually can be manifested in a, such a way that actually suits you well. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the two of uh, swords. So the formation is a active, uh, active friends, excuse me, and it is highly likely throughout this week to uh, face a as little uh, opposition as possible. That's because pe simply people will find it very difficult to find a, the right argument in order to oppose you in any way, simply because they are not as capable as you are, Virgo. So you can... Um, well, I don't know if this is really justice, but let's say it's self-righteousness. I mean, you can truly incorporate self-righteousness throughout this week, even if something isn't, isn't meant for you to be uh, in the grand scheme of things or in the grand code of conduit. Just to give you another example of that, and I'm not saying that this is with you, because um, there is this practice still where families are uh, preaching their children to marry to one another without their children even knowing each other. And uh, usually these uh, marriages are simply based on benefits. I mean, these people doesn't love each other at all. So let's say that you are uh, finding yourself a third party in such kind of a, a marriage on benefits, all right? And uh, you winning the heart of one of these people, you know, is this really the wrong thing to do? 
you know, or is this the right thing to do? This is what I'm trying to say here is that you will have the opportunity to traverse something that it was righteous to do based on the current code of conduit, but in the grand scheme of things, things it wasn't righteous to do. Another example of that, let's say that your boss promises promised the project of a certain person in your career, right? But that person proved themselves to be completely incompetent regarding the project while you can do so. And this time around, your boss swaps you for that person to proceed that project moving forward as you are showing yourself capable, okay? So, uh, and the other person loses his job. So which, which one is the right thing to do, you know, to take or not to take the project? So it's such kind of a situation you are going to have and you have to challenge yourself in order to overcome the poignancy should you have the milder heart and uh, being more, uh, how can I place it, being more worried about the other people, the other person happiness than your happiness. But yeah, it's uh, regardless what you do, uh, as long as you, whatever you do, you find it righteous for yourself. Uh, people will find it very difficult to argue uh, to argue with simply because uh, there is nothing to argue about. I mean, simply you are better than them or than this person. And that's why you get the opportunity to do so. Now, um, the last card for you guys, which is the uh, final outcome of growth, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot, meaning that you believe uh, in yourself that you truly deserve whatever it is presented to you. You challenge yourself, you solidify your current achievements and so on and so forth. And not to forget here that um, you as well attend to every single aspect of the situation instead of uh, leaving it to develop on its own accord. We do have the Tree of Pentacles. So you will be amazed at the end how much support you do have. Because, uh, like I said, uh, in the grand or kind of like from a side, it's going to seem very surreptitious your move, you know, to take away that project or to take away that person from his marriage or from his um, relationship. But once again, you will be amazed how much an, a, uh, support you are going to receive doing that undertaking. Support through your development in general and as well a huge cooperation. It is what we do have here with the Tree of Pentacles. Very meaningful conversations through which you are further going to establish your secure future moving on forward. And especially if we're talking about career with the Tree of Pentacles, that speaks for a, a long, long term project or a long term task. The accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, Page of Cups. So with the Page of Cups, it seems that you are going to reposition yourself based on this support of development in a much more beneficial and much more advantageous position. This time around, not being strafed to take on the or to attend to the minor irritating details of one's undertaking, but rather attending to the overview, making crucial uh, self-analysis here through which once again, what you, uh, Virgos, are going to readopt positions, which positions are going to be much more beneficial for you once again, and will help you to uh, capitalize as much as you can on the looming change that is coming. Because with the Page of Cups as a general card, a change is coming on the horizon for the better. So, uh, Virgos, it seems, guys, that uh, you are to prevail this week. I mean, that, that is a week of a huge conquest for you. Conquest that previous were, previously was given to someone else, but uh, you are going to win it this time around for yourself, fair and square, you know, because something, like I said, doesn't belong to the one by right, but it belongs to the one who takes it, and you will have the opportunity to take it this week. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 15th to April 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, as general reading, it's going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Virgo. But should you want a, a private reading in which we are going to discuss your personal situation and uh, I will tell you what is going to happen with it in its future, uh, you can check out my website for the private reading that is, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. 
and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!